Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share the Word of God with you guys on this wonderful Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Many blessings to you guys. Um, listen, let's just jump right into the Word, okay? As I was spending time with the Lord this morning, the Lord led me over to um, 2 Kings, and I was reading in chapters 8 and 9. I just read until, you know, the Lord wanted me to get what I what he wanted me to get. I just continued to read, okay? Second Kings chapter chapters 8 and 9. And I really thought I was just reading. At this point, I didn't know if I was going to have a word. Of course, every morning I say, "What is it that you want me to share with your people, your children?" Okay. And so, over in these chapters, the prophet Elisha, the Lord let him know about I think it's Ben-Hadad, okay, the king of Syria, that he was going to die, right? And um, and he and the Lord also told, um, now I believe he told Elijah, this was before that Jezebel was going to die, okay? You guys go read your word. <laughs> amen, amen. Okay, and so um, it says that um, Jezebel was going to die and that the dogs were going to eat her, okay? Gruesome, I know, I know. And as I begin to read... Um, this as I begin to read it, I came across some points where it said, you know, and this happened, and the king of Assyria he died, right? And Jezebel, we know she died. And I thought in my mind before I finished reading, I'm like, wow, you know, what God says comes to pass, it's true, right? It was just a thought as I was reading again. At this point, I did not know that the Lord was going to give me a word yet, okay? Amen, amen. So, um, and so. And, and of course, I knew that um, God's word come to pass. You know, I know his word is true. You know, you're reading, you're like, wow, look at this. It all came to pass. God's word is true. But sometimes when we're reading the Bible, it's more like a wow, like, look at this. Like, look what God did. That's This is God Almighty. Okay. He speaks a thing and it happens, period. Okay, period. And so as I continue to um, finish up the chapters... Um, chapter nine, as I finished up chapter nine, as I was reading it, um, and I, my, my, my eye caught, I know it was the leading of the Holy Spirit, another verse, but before I could even read the verse, okay, you guys listen, before I could even read the verse, um, the Lord spoke to me and said, I said all of that to say this. I'm like, okay. And then he led me over to second Kings chapter 10 verses 10 second kings 10 10 this is what it says it says know now that there shall fall unto the earth nothing of the word of the lord which the lord spake concerning the house of ahab for the lord hath done that which he spoke that which he spake by the servant elijah god said i said all of that so he had me read all of that to show me this is what I said and it happened. That's what I said and it happened. To to bring me to this verse. 2 Kings 10.10. 10. Let me read it in the NIV. Know then that not a word of the Lord has spoken. That the Lord has spoken against the house of Ahab will fail. The word has, I'm sorry, done what he announced through the servant Elijah. God said what he said. Did you guys catch that? It might have been kind of choppy. You guys go and read it, please, okay? Know that there shall fail, shall fall, help me, Holy Spirit, shall fall unto the earth, nothing of the word of the Lord, which the Lord spoke concerning the house of Ahab. For the Lord hath done that which he spake, okay? He did exactly what he said. Amen. Let me move on. Okay, now the first thing, because I was like, okay, Lord, where do you want me to go with this? One of the first things the Lord had wanted me to say um, was yesterday he gave me the number 245, right? And it was actually 245 in the afternoon, and it stuck out. You guys know how, how that goes, okay? And so when I looked up the, the number 245, it means Yah has heard, amen? Yah has heard. God has heard every prayer you have prayed to him. And he has heard every request, all right? Request. That's not a word that rolls off my tongue so easily for some reason. Then he gave me another number, and that was this morning, I, because I was up at 4.56 a.m. I was up before that, and I kind of dozed back off and was just laying there. 
Um, then he gave me the, the number 456, which means God of autumn. Okay. And the word that's associated with the number is, okay, listen, I'm going to spell it because I, I don't know how to say it. E-L-I-C-H-O. R-E-P-H, okay? As it breaks down, we know that L means God, E-L. And then C-H-O-R-E-P-H is harvest time. This is still harvest season. You guys hear what I'm saying? You're still, gonna, you're still reaping, amen? You're still getting some things that you sowed, all right? I know, I know it's, you know... Christmas time and, and winter and whatever. I don't even know when winter exactly starts, but that's what the Lord gave me. Okay. So now listen, Lord, the Lord wants me also to remind us once again, that whatever he speaks, you guys, whatever he speaks out of his mouth comes to pass period point blank. Right. Amen. He is not a liar. And he wants me to remind someone when, when the Lord gave me this, it just kind of, you know, it did something. He wants me to remind someone that he is God almighty and he cannot lie. Okay, he cannot lie. And I felt that so strongly. Okay, that, that had a little a little sting behind it when the Lord gave it to me. He's like, he, he, I do not lie. Period. Okay? I don't I'm just giving you what the Lord gave me. And what he has spoken will come to pass. He is in control. And he turns the sundial whichever way he chooses, meaning he decides when the time is right. Okay? The Lord also kept giving me the number 1010. Now for me and probably for others too, the number 1010, and he gave it to me a lot before. You guys know how it is when the Lord gives you a number and then it kind of dies down and then he brings it back up again. So this is this with the number 10, um, which for me represents, and for many others, an appointed time, right? An appointed time. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, let me just keep going. Oh, I feel this in my spirit. Okay, and so an appointed time. So God says there is an appointed time for all of his promises to come to pass. Okay, he's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. What he said is going to happen, period. Okay, he has not forgotten. He has not forgotten. He's just bringing me back. Bringing me back here again to remind someone. Okay, we have to be careful of accusing God, right? The creator of the universe. Amen. Of, of not coming through on his word because we're tired of waiting, right? We have to be careful. He understands that the wait is tedious. This is the Lord speaking all this to me this morning. Okay. But we need to continue to stand. And, and for some, God says that it won't be much longer. Let me, let me go back a little bit. One of the things that was really, wow, was really, um, troubling me is when he said, I'm not a liar. Like his word is true. Okay. I'm not a liar. I'm going to do exactly what I said. Let me move on. He hasn't forgotten. Okay. So we got to be careful not to um, accuse the creator of the universe of being a liar. Jesus help us today. We're not coming through. Now, listen, the Lord said for some of us, it won't be much longer for your appointed time is right around the corner. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. And for others, your appointed time is here right here, right now. Amen. God says that we, that he loves us and he wants us to give, he wants to give us only the best. And this takes time because now some of us think that we may be ready right now, but we're not. I have done that before. I have said it before. I'm ready now. And as time went on, I realized, thank you God for not answering my prayer in that moment. I was not ready. How many can attest to that? Like, I understand it though, because I'm like, can you just do this now? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I, that, I, personally, I was not ready. And so I can say that sometimes we do that. So anyways, um, so God says that he loves us and wants to give us only the best. And this takes time because some think we are ready, but we are not. Not yet, okay? It's coming. But don't worry. Rest assured that you will receive everything that God promised you. All right? You will receive everything that God promised you. You guys, my notes are in my lap. So I kept looking down because I needed these notes this morning. Amen, amen. The last scripture the Lord took me to was Joshua 21. Joshua is one of my favorite books to read. I love Old Testament. I, I see that I am a Old Testament 
kind of person I do. I, I get some New Testament too, but I absolutely love, love, love. And that's where the Lord has me at often is in the Old Testament. Joshua 21, 45, this is ESV. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord hath made to the house of Israel hath failed. All came to pass. And I understand I have bought this message many times before. God is bringing me back. All came to pass. Let me tell you something. I could feel the love of God. Ooh, Jesus. As, as he had me read this passage of scripture, okay? Let's not hurt God's heart by calling him a liar. All right, let's not, let's not do that or insinuating that he's a liar. God is not. We're talking about God Almighty, the creator of the universe. This hurt my heart so much, okay? Because we just got to be careful. God is not a liar. He understands, he said, that we are tired, that this journey is tedious. He said he understands that, all right? And he loves us so much. And and like I said, as I as I read this um, passage of scripture, I could feel um, I, I could feel the love of God. I could I could just feel it so strong. God loves us. He loves us so much. So let's not call him a liar because we're tired of waiting. Let's not insinuate that he ain't gonna come through. He is. He is gonna come through for us. He means exactly what he says. Okay. I feel God's heart today. I, I, he, he allowed me to feel his heart today. He's not a liar. He's not a man that he should lie. And and I thought it was so beautiful how he bought this word about where I thought I'm just reading my scripture and spending time with the Lord and read those two chapters, which were like, man, you guys go read them. Okay, it's deep. <laughs> it's deep. And um, he said, he said all that to say this. And that was 2 Kings 10.10. 10. So if you guys have been seeing these numbers, 245, 456, and 1010, you know, pray about every message. Of course, I, I, I fully believe in telling you to pray about every message um, before you click on the video. You should always do that anyways, but even still, just pray. If you have watched the whole thing and you're now at this point and you did not pray, you still can pray and ask God, Lord, I watched this already. Are you speaking to me? Now, a lot of us, many of us know that this word is for us. Okay, period, period, because that's what the Lord has been speaking. Another thing that's so beautiful, and I want to bring it back up, is the number 245, is Yah has heard, okay? He heard every one of your prayers. He has heard every one of your petitions that, he has, that you have brought before him. He heard you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everything he promised and spoke out of his mouth will come to pass without a doubt, without fail just as the scriptures say all came to pass amen you guys that's the word of the lord today i pray that you are so blessed thank you so much for all of those that sow seeds into this ministry this is good ground i am about my father's business i love y'all so much okay listen if you're new in christ jesus y'all pray for me okay i have been a little not well i'm, I'm on the mend okay and i, I the devil is a liar, and I come against him with the blood of Jesus. I am healed and whole, Woo, trying to create fog. You know what I'm saying? Have you guys experienced that? He's trying to create fog in my mind, but I come against him with the blood of Jesus. Listen, if you're new in Christ, sweetheart, enjoy your new life with him. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you are back now. Okay, you're back now. I celebrate with you. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. Let me tell you something. I want to go ahead and say this right now. I will not stop coming and bringing the word of God. The enemy may try to trip me up with my words, but he's a liar and he's defeated. Hallelujah. And I come against him with the blood of Jesus. All right. I am a warrior for Christ. Amen and amen. So we getting this word out. I don't care if I trip and fall over. No, it comes to an end today. We're going to say that ending now. The fog has cleared in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Listen, I love y'all so much. Jesus loves you so much more. Have a wonderful and blessed day, a wonderful and blessed week. Listen, God's heard you. Y'all has heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
and it's all going to come to pass. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. You know, Jesus loves you so much more. Don't ever forget it. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.